after years of watching football, talking about football, listening to people talk about football, listening to commentators talk about football, I noticed a trend of people always uplifting and tearing down individuals for the success of their teams. And that, my, my friends, is a paradox. How can you glorify or devalue an individual performance in the context of the whole team um, and the performance when it all has to come together for everybody in order for success or lack of success to come about? And the person who I kind of think about the most when this comes to mind is Tony Romo, uh, probably the most criticized quarterback in the NFL uh, for his team's lack of success. And as I continue to think about it, that's really weird. It doesn't make sense when you think about it. A quarterback can't block. A quarterback doesn't run the football as a running back. The quarterback's not a wide receiver. The quarterback doesn't throw and catch the ball. The quarterback doesn't block for himself and throw the ball. The quarterback doesn't run the ball to alleviate the pressure for himself and throw the ball. And when he does, he still can't do it that effectively, at least continually for his whole career, as we've seen breakdowns for Robert Griffin III and even Cam Newton himself has shown injuries, or at least he plays through some of those injuries that, that hamper him at times. And I think that causes some of his performance dips sometimes. And so to say that the quarterback is the you know, the one who's who's determining the team's success or the one carrying the team or who is responsible for the team's win-loss record is a false notion. Um, and that's just on offense. Try to say that the quarterback plays defense too. The quarterback can't keep his team in the game defensively. There's no way for that to happen. The quarterback cannot play defensive line. The quarterback cannot play linebacker. The quarterback cannot play safety. The quarterback cannot play cornerback. Quarterback cannot cover a receiver. The quarterback cannot protect the deep half of the field. The quarterback cannot stop the runners, plug A gaps, plug B gaps, uh, chase down the coverages on the sideline and zones, can't rush the passer, can't run stuff. It's too much for one player to be held responsible for the whole team's success. Yes, individuals make plays, but that does not determine the outcome of games. You can't blame Tony Romo for the Dallas Cowboys win-loss record. You can't blame Tom Brady for the uh, Patriots win-loss record. You can't blame Peyton Manning for the Denver Broncos or Indianapolis Colts win-loss record. You can't blame Brett Favre for the (laughs) the Vikings, Jets, Packers win-loss record. None of those guys can be blamed individually for their team's losses because it is a team game. It is a team sport. There is no such thing as one player being responsible for the team's success or lack of success. It just doesn't make sense. I mean, you can look at the stats. You can look at the style of play. You can look at, uh, you know, rankings. You can see the records. At the end of the day, no one player can be responsible for every facet of the game. And unless that happens, then there's no way you can say that that is the case. Unless one player is responsible for the win-loss records, for the offensive output, for the defensive output, for the coaching, for the special teams, for everything, for the other team's performance, then there is no way that we can say or uplift or devalue one particular player in light of the whole team's success or lack of success. It just doesn't make sense.